galvan. What we have here basically is we have a mass. This is a 100 uh, gram mass. We have a stopper at the end. And there's a little green piece of tape there, which is going to go and set the distance that we want it to be so that it's a set uh, distance for the radius of the spinning. So I take this guy and I'm doing that. Now remember what we're talking about in class. What's happening with centripetal force? What's happening with gravitational force? And how are they interacting? So right about here, it seems pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to count 10 revolutions. Okay. So as it comes around, I'm going to do the first one here. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So with your stopwatch that you've got, you can go and we can get this timed out. So let's try this again. I'll count you down. So everybody ready? I'm going to count you down. 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we've got that particular one. You can always back up the video to get the values again. So now we're going to go to a 200 gram mass. With this one, think about the gravitational force. Think about the centripetal force that you're going to need to balance it off. And what do you think is going to happen to the speed to enable it to be able to balance off that gravitational force? Okay, so we're going to come around again. Okay. So now I'm going to get it to come up. And once again, I'm going to get to the same spot. Notice what's happening with the speed. Okay. We're going to count down again. One, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another one. Counting down, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you've got the information, work it out.